guys, it's Jessie here. I'm back with my lip gloss video. This is my makeup breakup series. I just went through all of my lipsticks and cut down my collection by about half. Um, I'm hoping to do the same with my lip glosses. My husband just informed me that the sheer amount of money that I am giving away right now is ridiculous. And he's right. I cannot believe how many makeup products I have accumulated over the years and how many I'm giving away. Like the sheer number of products that I'm giving away and I still have so much left speaks volumes to me. So I'm really going to have to think about what I want to do in terms of buying makeup in the future. I really need to calm down. Wow. Anyways. These are my lip glosses. I'm hoping to cut this down by half, fit everything from my lip gloss drawer and my lipstick drawer into one drawer. It's a heavy feat. Hopefully I can do it. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first is a lipstick in here. I'm not sure how that made it in here or why. This is the Julep lipstick in Stepping Out. I love this. I'm definitely holding on to that. I'm going to stick that in my lipstick drawer. Now moving into lipsticks. Here we go or lip glosses. So these are the e.l.f. minty lip glosses that I've had in my collection for years. These are my all-time favorite lip glosses back in the day, but uh, let's be honest, five roll lip gloss is kind of nasty, so let me get rid of that. Um, I've had this CoverGirl Wet Slicks lip gloss for almost as long, so I'm getting rid of that as well. And this Avon Plump Pout lip gloss, ick. Okay. This NYC Appalicious uh, Tinted Lip Balm I just recently got from the Dollar Tree and I love it so I'm holding on to that. I love these NYX Butter Glosses. I've got three or four of these. It's another. Um, and there's probably one more somewhere. Yep, here. I'm holding on to all of these. I love these. This NYC Lip Gloss is ultra frosty and not attractive so I'm going to get rid of that as well as this NYC Liquid Lip Shine because it's gorgeous color, but I've had it forever. Ew. Um, these Show Off Lip Lacquers from Rimmel are gorgeous, but they're incredibly pigmented and they slide all over the place and get on my teeth. So as much as I love them, I'm gonna get rid of them. As well as this, this is a City Color Creamy Lip Stain and this is disgusting. It feels like oil on my lips and it's not good, so I'm getting rid of that. This Glitter Gloss from e.l.f. is an absolutely beautiful color. The color is Ruby Raspberry, but the glitter in this is very gritty and I can feel it on my lips and I'm not a fan of that, so I'm getting rid of that. These e.l.f. lip glosses, I love these um, Luscious Liquid Lipsticks, but I've had them for a really, 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 really long time, so I'm going to get rid of them. And this Revlon gloss is gorgeous. It's this beautiful, bright, bright, bright pink that I'm going to hold on to for now because it's gorgeous and it's got this beautiful duochrome thing, but honestly, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of something that bright. We'll see. I'm going to hold on to it for now. Okay, moving on to this section. I have a ton of these like squeezy tube lip glosses. And what I've realized over the years is I'm not a big fan of this style of lip gloss. So I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of these. Um, especially these e.l.f. 2-in-1 conditioning glosses I've had for a really long time. And I haven't ever really worn very many of them very often. So I'm going to pass these along. This is an Avon one. Same thing. I've had this a long time. I'm going to get rid of that. This is a e.l.f. Shimmer lip gloss in the shade Inspire. I can't remember if I can feel the glitter in this or not. I cannot. Um, I'm going to hold on to this one. This is a Palladio lip gloss. It's got a ton of shimmer in it. It's really beautiful. Um, and I don't feel the shimmer particles on my lips, so I'm going to hold on to that. Two-in-one conditioning gloss. Nope. This Lux Lips from Julep, oh my god, this thing is so gross. It feels really nice going on. This metal tip is beautiful, but the smell is bad and the taste of this is horrible. And the color is not all that nice, so I'm getting rid of that. This is something that I got from Ulta. Um, 
I'm getting rid of that. No need to have that. This Avon lip gloss is a hideously ugly color on me, and I've had it for a really long time, so I'm getting rid of that too. This Wet n Wild Mega Slicks gloss is really nice because it's practically clear and it goes with everything, so I'm going to hold on to that. It's another one of those e.l.f. conditioning glosses. Goodbye. Um, these e.l.f. e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shines are really, really nice. But again, I'm not a big fan of the applicator the squeezy tube thing, so I'm going to get rid of all of these. I think that my uh, cousins or whatever will really enjoy these. That's another one. This is one. Same thing. Really beautiful, but I don't like the applicator. Um, the applicator on these I like a little bit better because the tubes aren't quite as squishy, so a zillion uses of lip gloss doesn't come off in one go. So I'm going to hold on to these. This one is for the Urban Decay lip gloss, lip junky lip gloss. It cools and plumps. It's in the color Midnight Cowboy. Really pretty. I do like that one. Um, this sample... Ew. Yeah. Sorry about that. The angle might have just changed because I, my battery died. Anyway, continuing on with my lip glosses. This is an Urban Decay Lip Junkie lip gloss. Um, it's that squeeze tube that I don't like, so I'm getting rid of that. This Juice Beauty lip gloss that I got in an Ipsy bag is probably my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's such a pretty color. Still smells like it has not expired or anything, so I'm holding on to that. Just recently got this Cargo Cosmetics lip gloss, so I'm holding on to that. And I love this Star Looks lip gloss. It's probably one of my all-time favorites, so I'm holding on to that as well. Moving on, I've got this lip color from e.l.f. This is Ursula. It came in my Ariel Beauty Book. Um, you can see the lid's cracked, so I'm not going to hold on to that, much as I'd like to keep that intact. Um, this e.l.f. Glitter Gloss in Golden Glitz has glitter in it, yes. Um, but it's not quite as gritty as the other of the glitter glosses that I have, and I really like this gold color for right in the center of my lip to make them look a little bit plumper, so I'm going to hold on to this. Another one of my all-time favorite lip glosses, this is the NYC Big Bold um, Voluminous Peach. The applicator on this thing is honkin' huge, but I love this gloss, so I'm holding on to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. This uh, Coastal Sense Smacks lip gloss is in the shade Bohemian Orange. Oops. I actually really, really like this on my lips. I wasn't sure about it, but the more I tried it, the more I liked it, so I'm going to hold on to it. As well as this e.l.f. Glossy Gloss in the shade Dragon Fruit. Love it. I should mention that I have a couple of lip glosses, like in handbags or whatnot, but if they're in handbags, Obviously, I've used them recently, which means I like them, which means I can keep them. I'm not going to go digging through to try to find them all. This Avon lip gloss is older than dirt. I'm getting rid of that. Mm, these two Pop Beauty lip glosses came from Ipsy. They sent me the one, and it smelled like burned tires. So I sent them an email. They sent me another one, and it smells like burned tires, too. I don't know why I've held on to them. They're really gross smelling, and I'm not putting them on my lips, so I'm getting rid of those. This I've had forever, and it's almost gone, so I'm getting rid of that. This is another one of the e.l.f. lip colors that came in one of those beauty books, and this lid is also cracked, so I'm getting rid of that. This is one of the Maybelline... What are these called? I don't know what they're called color elixirs or something. This is in the shade Orange Aglow. I really like this, so I'm holding on to that. This is a Jouer lip gloss that I bought with my Ipsy points that I really, really like, so I'm holding on to that. These two lip glosses are both bright red lip glosses. I probably don't need both. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them side by side and decide which one I want to keep. One of them is from Mary Kay which is really beautiful. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. And this other one is from Be A Bombshell. And it's not quite as pigmented. So I'm going to keep the Mary Kay and get rid of the Be A Bombshell. Although, I really like that one too. Do I need two lip glosses that are red? No. But I've gotten rid of a lot of lip gloss, you guys, so I'm going to hold on to both of these. I'll let myself get away with it, what can I say? 
Um, this Neutrogena gloss was one of my all-time favorites, but it is all separated now. I don't know if you can see that, so I'm getting rid of that. It's expired. Um, this is a little lip gloss sample. I don't think I need that. And this is one of the L'Oreal liquid lipstick things that I really, really like, so I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, moving into my lip balms. Here we go. This is a Caitlin or a Caitlin tinted lip balm that I got in an Ipsy bag. This turns like orange on me. Not at all crazy about it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah. Um, this Elf conditioning lip balm is very uh, pretty, but I don't ever find myself using it. I don't really like. A lot of these that I have to stick my fingers into so unless they're ultra special um, I'm not gonna keep them this is a Too Faced lip insurance that I don't think I've ever used so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that as well as this Mary Kay satin lips lip mask I've only used this once or twice and I don't like the way that this feels so I'm getting rid of that this is an Avon slick tint that I at one point in time said I was going to throw away and yet somehow it ended up back in my makeup collection um, this was really beautiful for the first six months that I had it, and after that it sort of separated and got gross, so I'm getting rid of that. Um, this is a Chapstick Total Hydration. I really, really, really love this, so I'm holding on to this. Um, this M Cosmetics one is nothing special, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, because like I said, I don't like sticking my fingers and stuff like that. These e.l.f. lip tints, however, are absolutely beautiful um, for the most part. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them and make sure here. This one in Rosie Rocker is very um, sheer, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This one in Grapefruit, though, if I remember correctly, is really pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'll go ahead and keep that one. And this one in Peach is also really pretty, so I'll keep that one. That one in Rosie Rocker was much um, drier than the other two, so that probably lends itself to the texture of it. Okay, I've got this Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment that I've had for quite a while, but I absolutely love. Unfortunately, it's pretty much gone, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then I've got this um, Mulian and Sparrow Tinted Lip Balm. This is really, really gross feeling. It feels like oil, and there's no color to it at all, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. My Maybelline Baby Lips. You guys know how much I love these. I cannot help myself. I love them. I'm probably going to keep them all. This is the one in Cherry Me. Holding on to that. I've got a NYX Butter Lip Balm in this really pretty pink shade that I'm going to hold on to. I'm a sucker for these tinted lip balms because they're so easy. This is one of the clear lip balms from Baby Lips. This is the one with SPF 20 in it, so I'm definitely holding on to that. This is just a Chap Ice lip balm that's nothing special. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, another one of the Baby Lips. This is the bright pink one. Love it. Keeping that. Uh, this is the peach one, also keeping that. Like I said, probably keeping all of these. This is just a Burt's Bees lip balm, um, but I really, really like this. It's really nice just to toss on on days when I'm not wearing any makeup, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, baby Lips, this is another pink shade. I love this Vaseline um, Little Rosy Lips Baby Lip Balm. Hopefully I'm in frame here, you guys. I'm sorry, I keep dipping out, but... Uh, I love that, so I'm definitely holding on to that, as well as this um, one from Fresh, gorgeous tinted color. And the rest of these are all baby lips, and I'm holding on to these as well. So I think I did pretty well here. I think I got rid of more than half, so I'm going to go ahead and throw back in everything that I am keeping. So that is everything that I am keeping. And this everything that I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of quite a few things here. Pretty proud of myself. I don't know. 
very, very satisfied with that. So now the test is going to be, can I fit my lip glosses and my lipsticks all into one drawer? Let's find out. So this is my lipstick drawer. I actually have a little cup on my drawer that I um, use for all of my lip liners, so I can take those out. see if we can make all of this fit. that a success. Um, I've got one lipstick here that won't quite fit in here. And I, like I said, I do have more lipsticks. Well, I guess it does fit if you jam it in there. I do have more lipsticks in my um, purses and things, but it, you know, I constantly have a rotation. So I think that I managed to fit everything into one drawer. And as long as I don't buy anything else, I will be good to go. So I'm going to have to have a very strict one-in-one-out policy, I think. But I made it all fit. I am so, so proud of myself. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.